What's up guys, it's Hack Person here. Today in this video, I'm going to explain why the Galaxy Fold is useless in its current stage. Samsung revealed this product just a few days ago, but the first generation product is honestly not so great. But why? Let's find out. So before I really show why this device is not so practical, I just want to say that the Galaxy Fold is truly innovative and it's amazing that we've gotten into a stage where we can literally fold screens. The technology is just incredible and I'm hoping it will be improved, but right now it's just not there yet. The first problem with the Galaxy Fold is it's just not a better experience than two separate devices that are great at what they do. For example, an iPad Pro 2018 and an iPhone XS would cost $1,800 which is a little less than the Galaxy Fold, but provides a way better experience. No seams, no bezels, and a truly powerful experience. And even if you want to go the Samsung way, a Galaxy S10, which is an amazing product, paired with the Galaxy Tab S5e, is $1,300, way less than the Galaxy Fold, and in the end provides a way better experience. Technology is made to make our lives better, and just for the sake of technology, this is truly incredible. But just for the average customer, Two devices that are great at what they do is better than one foldable device that is not so great at what it does. Second, the quality on this device is just disappointing. It has a plastic screen, which is required even if the technology advances, because glass can't bend. This means the plastic screen can scratch very easily, and it's not the biggest problem, but it's still something to note. I don't really appreciate a plastic screen, but in the case of a foldable phone, it is needed. Third, the bezels are huge when the phone is closed. It only has a 4.6 inch display when it's closed, which is tiny, and it's surrounded with huge bezels bigger than the original iPhone. This is truly unacceptable and one of the weakest aspects of this device. It is also especially unacceptable when the device costs $2,000. It also has a corner notch when it's unfolded, but if it's blacked out in the software, then I guess it's acceptable. But still, the bezels when it's closed, it's terrible. But I like the lack of bezels when it's open. And last, but most importantly, is the price stack. The price is $1,980, which is so much for a phone. Again, I know the technology is new and innovative, but again, this is not for the average consumer. No one will pay $2,000 to use this as their daily phone. Technically, this is still in development. It's just that Samsung wants to be first when introducing this product. $2,000 is a lot of money just for a phone which folds. So I really think this should still be in development until it is truly ready. And now that the Huawei Mate X was introduced, the Galaxy Fold is really useless. The Huawei Mate X has a way better display at the front, which goes edge to edge, it has no notch inside, and just overall looks like a better package. Of course, this comes at a cost of around $2,600, but it's so much better. It also doesn't waste the display because it folds outward and expands that display, which is way more logical. So overall, the real reason the Galaxy Fold is really useless is because it's just not a finished product by itself. And when you look at the competition, there's really no place left for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram as a tech person. And check out our website and merch. All the links for these will be in the description. For now, I'm the tech person and I'll see you in the next episode.